Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Crit, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my Christmas card series for 2021. I will be using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called Furry and Bright, and the Fireplace stamp set is from Clearly Besotted. I believe it was called Cozy Christmas, but it is no longer available. I will link to some other stamp sets that have fireplaces in them down below for you. I wanted to go ahead and use this one because I really like it and it is in the one I have in my stamp collection, so why not use it? So I'm just stamping it directly onto my card base with some Memento Tuxedo black ink. And then I'm going to ink up a few of the stamps from the Furry and Bright stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm doing the tree and the stocking with the little kitty. And those are also being stamped in Memento Tuxedo black ink. That is my go-to ink for Spectrum Nor Coloring, which are alcohol-based markers. So now I'm going to go ahead and color these up and you will see that this card was pretty simple. I did not add a whole lot to it. It was a lot of coloring, but I really enjoyed the process of this card. I just sat down and colored and just really got to relax. Sometimes I don't get the chance to just sit and make a card completely. I have to put it aside because I have three kiddos and they take up a lot of my time, but it is worth it and I get to the crafting when I can, but I can come back to it whenever I can too. So I film, go off doing, stop it, go off and do my thing with my kids and life, and then I can come back and press record again and put it all together speed it up for you so that you can get that inspiration and then you can go on your way and you can get crafting too so that is the process and that is how i do it so but this card was really fun it turned out pretty simple and it tells a story as well and i will tell you that as we go along so all of the supplies that I use in today's video will always be listed down below in the description box. It will give you links directly to the products at various websites so that you can go check them out. Or if there is something that you really, really like that you do not have, you can go ahead and grab those. But I want to say use what you have in your craft room. Stretch your supplies. Think outside the box. What elements can I bring in? that I already have as well. Um, yeah, just create, have fun creating, enjoy the process and relax and let the creativity be your resting point. And we all bring different things to the table and we all create differently. So let your uniqueness and just enjoy the process. So coloring up this fireplace getting all of the elements of the fire adding the reds and the oranges and the yellows and bringing that cozy vibe to this Christmas scene that I am going to create there is so many images and sentiments on this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp when I was creating this card I did not know what to go with I really loved this stamp set when I got it and I really loved the Santa from it but I love the Christmas stocking with the kitty. My youngest boy, who is four, loves cats. And last year, we got him a cat stocking stuffer, a, or a cat stocking from the dollar store that was like, you're supposed to put this up and give your cat gifts. But we got him one so that he could put some of his cat stuffed animals into it as a sleepy bag, as a fun little like stocking stuffer for him. So I really loved that set and you're going to see me use that stamp set and color it up here. That stamp from this stamp set, you're going to see me color it up here and create a little scene around that. So, but there's just so many cute things. This candy cane, that would be great to add into a gingerbread themed thing card and they have snowflakes and little presents and there's the globes the ornaments hanging down and the other puppy 
And some of your sentiments are, a gift for you, Santa Paws is coming to town, ho, 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 to and from, so you could definitely make tags with this stamp set. And then Furry and Bright, which is the name of the stamp set. And then From Santa, Furry Christmas Wishes, Happy Holidays, and Love Enclosed, and Merriest Christmas. I might have said that. But yeah, there's just so many things. So you can totally create so many different cards with this and tags. So I'm definitely going to have to pull this stamp set out again because there's so many ideas rolling around in my head. So this is the first card in my Christmas card series. I'm hoping to bring you at least one, if not two, videos a week leading up to Christmas to give you some inspiration for your Christmas cards and just to put you into the Christmas spirit in the months of November and December. So I hope that you watch these video. Give them a thumbs up if you like them. Leave me a comment down below. How are you doing? What is your favorite thing about Christmas. Let me know in the comments below. And I am getting close to a thousand subscribers. I would love it if you join me here on my crafting journey so that I can share with you what I love to do. Getting to a thousand subscribers is one of my biggest goals here on YouTube. Beside sharing what I love to do and inspiring you, it's just one of those silly goals that you just want to reach for. Um, we all want to accomplish something and that is one thing that is on my goals list. So if you are not a subscriber yet, consider subscribing and I would love that. All right, so moving on to the card. So I inked it up, colored it up, and added that detail in with the white gel pen. You can see I added polka dots and highlights and all of that and added some highlights to the fireplace. And then I'm just using the speckled egg distress oxide ink and blending it very gently onto the card base. I do not want it to take away from it. I do not want it to be solid. I want some of that white to shine through. Just giving it a little bit more interest and something very simple. And then I'm going to create my scene. So at first I was like, maybe I'm going to put the kitty coming down from the fireplace. But I was like, no, the cat and the stocking are way too big for this fireplace. So the kitty is going to be lying in front of the fireplace, like he's sleeping in the Christmas stocking. So I'm just going ahead and popping the Christmas tree and the kitty stocking, the kitty in the stocking up on foam tape. And then I'll add a few more things and we will be finished up this card. I love that most of this card is flat except for the few things. And by adding the foam tape to this, it makes it look more realistic it gives it that dimension and makes it have depth when the fireplace is so flat on the card and gives you that yeah that depth to the room So I, I popped the Christmas tree on there and the kitty and I did not film that part. But now I'm going to create the sentiment here on the card. And I decided to go with a set. I believe it was from the Furry and Bright stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. Yeah, it's the Furry Christmas Wishes sentiment. So once that was stamped, I hummed and hawed over, maybe I should add a present or maybe I should add something else. Was this card missing anything? Sure, you could add a ton of stuff. You could add sequins. You could add Nouveau drops or pops of color or 
glassy accents, but I just really like the simplicity of it and that finishes up my card. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing and I'll see you